Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World. Uh, continuing on with the Arena series, this is the Grade B, which I went into with a uh, pretty souped up Metal Greymon. No real chance of losing, but there's uh, a few things that throw get thrown into the way, like Tekamon being able to use full potential, which I also use to even things out. So it's not terrible, terrible. But in pure stats, I just really had no chance of losing. They couldn't do enough damage to me. Y'all see what I mean? My metal gray mon. <laughs> yeah. That guy right there is pretty strong for a grade B. Not gonna lie. That's the bad thing about delete program is you can't use it constantly because eventually you'll flatten your enemy and you'll miss that first one and then he'll come back with a normal attack so I just decided to use full potential while I was waiting for him to transform. And then I use it a few more times. Like right there. Then I just decided to go all out. I throw in a pulse laser every now and again, although delete program's better. Pulse, la pulse laser has a better chance of hitting them even if they block it though, because it attacks like twice. As you'll see, it misses and then it goes back for a second. And I think I finish off everybody in this tournament with a special. Just because it, that's the cool way to do it. Yeah, take that. Centauromon wins. And then, yeah, it should be Leomon being in the finals. If he loses to an Auroramon, I would have to be like, I give up on ever saying that you were awesome, Leomon, ever. Because you're not, if you lose to an Auroramon, but you didn't. So it's all good. We're still good. We're still cool. Let's see. Nah, Centauromon will be pretty much nothing. I think I still get stuck up in the delete program flattening problem. shoot it and it'll miss because he is flattened or he's invulnerable during the flattening so I'm getting hit with little tiny NES pebble shots no it's not NES you get the point I just sat him close enough to uh, full potential that I just use up the remaining full potential and go right back to delete program. And this flattens it too, so miss on that, flatten. And then I just decided to pulse laser it just for the end, just in case. Yay metal gray mom. What's funny is I think this Metal Greymon is stronger than the Metal Mega Seedramon that I have for rank A. Definitely not stronger than the Hercules Caputariamon for rank S, though. You'll see. <laughs> Alright, so the final matchup, I'm pretty sure this was with the smoothest of any of them. He just has more HP than the others. flattening problem.
this took longer than it should have for this for just the reason that delete program is not the best move it could be using. I mean, it's the, I mean, Metal Greymon, he's strong. He has high base stats and everything, but his move set isn't the greatest. Full potential is probably the best thing. I mean, he does have that digital dimension, which is the strongest attack in the game, number-wise, but it's pretty slow, and I'd rather have these fast attacks that do a little bit less damage. They stack up faster. Now watch this. This should hit him. See how it misses when he was invincible, but when it came back, it hit him, so... That's why I use Pulse Laser like that. <laughs> and I finish him off with a Giga Blaster, like I said. And his victory... Grunts, I don't know how to call that. It would be roars, but they sounded kind of weird. Champion! Actually, no, he's ultimate. That's okay. And for victory, I receive a restore floppy. Pretty crappy. But that's okay. So here is the rank A tournament. Like I said, I'm pretty sure Mega Seedramon is not up to the same standard as uh, Metal Greymon is, but. Uh, Mega Seedramon has way better moveset. Way better. I'm not sure if he has Ice Statue at this point, but he definitely has Thunder Justice and... Don't know about Megalospark. But he can use all those moves, and they're all great, so... And our first fight's just gonna be against the Devimon, so no big problem here. I think that's a Pixiemon in the next one. Alright, let's see what we got. Yeah, he has good offense, but that was about it. And Devamon. Not bad. Sucky for a rank A. His offense is way too low. Yeah, I should have Ice Statue here then. Nope. I use Aurora Freeze. Interesting. This must have been back before I even had Thunder Justice. It was a long time ago. Good thing about Aurora Freeze is it takes so long that you can still hit them outside of flattening, so. I know, except if they go into it right in the middle of the animation, that still kind of sucks. And he has a stat booster. So this is why this one takes a little bit longer, because I didn't have Ice Statue. I can see Drummond's a beast once he has the Ice Statue and Thunder Justice. Freak, he's a beast right now. What are you talking about? Ow. Drummond is all of a sudden a ninja. No wonder he always wears black and he's always active in the night. That was a real risk, not canceling that special line there. And there's Maelstorm, even though I think it's supposed to be Hailstorm. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure I, like, allude to this in a... I'm not sure if it was in a previous video or if it was in a later video. But I do remember thinking, wait a minute. What if it's Hailstorm? I was like, mind blown. Of course, Edamon's gonna be in the final. How the hell did a freaking Sharmamon, who is a rookie, defeat Vademon? Unless that's a Hyogamon. Nah, I think that might be a Hyogamon, but still. Champion versus Ultimate. I guess Vademon does suck, though. Alright, let's see what we got going here. We got a Mamemon. With pretty decent MP and offense.
This kind of sucked because of how slow my ah uh, good there. Oh, he has full potential. I think at this point I was thinking, oh shit, take him down as fast as possible. Because we do not want him to get to full potential with full potential. Because then I'll be hitting freaking twos. Or ones, even worse. That was weird. I went to water blit, but I didn't hit it. I guess I was waiting to see what he would do. Come on. I think I was just happy that he switched to using that one that only boosts your attack instead of boosting your defense too. He may do high damage potential after that, or he may have high damage potential after that, but at least I can hit through it. Survive and hit through it. He's my special again, and he is gone. That was some nice damage there, by the way. 3,000. It's like, suck it. And the final matchup. I can't remember how old, it, uh, how hard this Edamon is. Some turn, some tournaments he's really easy, and some he's really tough. This one is going to be one of the more tougher ones, except for his HP is not up to where it usually is. He usually has like 9,000 HP. I guess that might be an only increase, and that's the reason why he's so difficult. That damn Thunder Justice. And now he's just boosting his offense more. That's scary. I decided if the Aurora Freeze isn't going to be fast enough, I just need to water blit him, but I try to. Yeah, see, I try to. I try to work both of them in because he's doing so much damage potential. Keeps going. That that was at this point. I was thinking that I'm I've lost. No way I can win this one now. But I don't give up. I prevail or I fight in an attempt to prevail. I try to go on like defensive, yet at the same time switch into an attack every once in a while. That right there probably saved me. Oh, that really right there. I tried to go for the kill there, but I can't get lucky enough to hit it. And right there, oh, that, yeah. Right there would have been my kill moment, but I was too worried. So I finished him off with a special. That was a close fight. Very close fight. See what I mean about Edamon sometimes being easy, sometimes being hard, especially when he can raise his stats to 5 billion. His offense, at least. This will probably, that will probably be the closest and toughest fight that you'll see in this uh, rank arena series, because the next one is pretty much no contest for anything because of my Hercules Kabuterimon. <laughs> Which I used to get the, uh, well, you'll see. And we get a flaming main for that. And now it's time for the hardest rank. I don't know why I selected that, but okay. We should flip right over to our Hercules Kabuterimon and enter the S rank. A super grade. Now this is no tournament, to, uh, easy tournament to win, but with stats, with high stats, you can do it, no problem. With a good move set too. I mean, Hercules Kaputerimon. 
He doesn't have the best move set, but he does have the one move that's like the cheapest move. And the, it's not probably the cheapest move, but got a cheap combination of that move and what is probably the cheapest move in the game, Poison Claw. But here's the stats. <laughs> Looks so funny. Yeah, I used him to get the max metal. And Monzaemon has nice speed there. Too bad everything else is just way too low for this this great of a tournament. So basic, uh, a, what you need to do with you got this kind of move set is Poison Claw and Bug. Now see, Bug missed once, but it hit again, and that's what Bug does. That's what makes Bug so awesome. I don't know why I'm using Buster Dive too, but I think oh no, I don't know why I'm using it when he's confused. When he's confused, you want to use long range things like bug. <laughs> I just poison clawed him for no reason. I think I wanted to see how much Buster Dive did in comparison, but it, it just sucks compared to bug. So. And we made that teddy bear look like, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say there. I'll just say we made it look easy. There we go. Our next matchup will be with, I think, Skull Greymon. And our final matchup will be with Vademon. I do remember this matchup. Vademon is a pretty cheap customer when it comes to this these tournaments because at this stage he'll have full potential and he'll have green trap which will pretty much stun you every single time. It's slow to react but it will stun you every single time. I think I just kept those stats and I keep like looking at them when I'm doing the tournament. It's like yeah, max. Skull Greymon has good stats. Speed's lacking, but you don't. Speed is like the least useful stat. So that was weird. Froze up there for a bit. I don't think it was the video. <laughs> I don't remember it doing that. And so, general rule, like I said, is first you poison them to do all the damage over time, and then you go for bug. Such a beast combination. It's doing a lot less damage because of how high his defense is. Let's see, it just hit twice. That's why the bug is so awesome. So like, it's it was doing like a thousand one hundred damage to Monzaemon, and if it hit twice, it would be doing two point two thousand damage each attack. Again, that's this that attack is just such a beast. Yeah, I wanted to finish him off with a special. Four thousand damage. <laughs> oh man, half of his HP with just my special. Vademon, which, like I said, can be a cheap customer, but since we have a pretty cheap customer ourselves, he wasn't cheap at all. Lots of brain chips went in, or lots of chips and all went into him. I don't know why I skipped the stats. Sometimes I accidentally skip stats, like I did in the B rank last time, too. But still, same strategy. Poison, except it takes a while to poison this guy. Uh, Earth type Digimon seem to have a little harder time getting poisoned than the rest. I think I'm not positive. Cro 
fell on him. Damn it, the bugs disappeared. I don't know why I keep going back to Buster Dive. It's not very strong. I think at this point I was like not quite sure how strong, how good Buster Dive was in comparison to every other move. And I just wasted a special there. I think the reason I was using uh, Buster Dive is because it's so much faster than Bug, but... Bug hits twice, so there's no comparison, really. So you block, and gone. That's what you get. Take that brain of yours and go back home. Get on him, bug. See, sometimes they can't find their target, but other times they do, and it's awesome. And I finish him with a buster dive, the move that I said sucked, which it does. Cost too much for the power that it has. But that's it. That's the S rank. That's all the ranks. So after this, we get a medal. Hercules Kabuterimon, the champions of the champion of champions. <laughs> Arena lobby. And for that victory, we receive Mega Hand, which makes us into Mega Dramon, and we get a medal. And Kabuterimon dies. And I think I just cut it there. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there'll be a little spot here now. I guess it's going to be black, and it's just going to be me talking. So, since you don't just want to hear me talking, I'm going to say see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching.